virtual reality, augmented reality, mixed reality, you sort of like understand a little bit what, what can be done, right? Um, so what we do see is that it will, these three elements will redefine how we showcase while we're doing sports, we just saw that. It will showcase how we can be more active if we, even from the close proximity of our home, and it will be very much engaging, but it's also transformed sports training. This has already been leveraged, right? So it's improving performance because through VR systems, athletes can check out their performance and sense check, look back and how the game was or how their training was and how they can like, make little tweaks into their performance that can actually improve. Um, uh, also, with that, I believe it will boost confidence. And every athlete and everyone who likes to do sports, you need your confidence to be better at something, right? That, and I'll talk a little bit about me mental health a little bit later on as well, but I think that boosting confidence, just because you can be so specific in your training with these new technologies, um, it will just make you feel better. Just two examples, um, Rezl, the football VR trainings, uh, and Formula One, it, re like, it really improves those real-time responses, so it can really test you on stress-related symptoms, scenarios. Then also, it improves health care. So, um, it can help you prevent training, uh, prevent injury, injury during trainings, right? So really, if you, you train a lot, you're doing a lot to your body, it's, it's really tiring and it's sometimes really um, incredibly hard for your body. So what if you can do that a little bit in a different way? The second one is treatment and rehabilitation, right? So get, you get the injury after all, uh, but then we'll, it will help you going into faster, treatments and faster rehabilitation, but also the recovery is usually much faster this way. I've heard yesterday someone whose dad had, was diagnosed with Parkinson's five years ago, and right now in the past few months, he's been working with VR to really feel better mentally and also with his like um, minimal physiques. Um, and the third element of how to look at this in a sports-related fashion is the sports experiences, right? So going through the very beginning, how we watch sports is in like the Coliseum together, right? Or like traveling through all these different events, listening to a sports game on the radio, and then that accelerated through like film, video, content, mobile phones came, where you have access to content 24-7 on this tiny screen, um, and that experience on your phone will now expand to an even more exciting experience. So this is going extremely fast. Um, and so also for your fan engagement, this is going to be very interesting, right? So imagine that you can meet your biggest idols, but you don't really have to travel far, because maybe you don't have the financial means, but also maybe that idol doesn't always have the time. You can do this at scale, right? But still feel that connection with your idol or with your fans. It, work, it works both ways, right? Or think about environments where you can watch games from different perspectives. I mean, who doesn't watch, love watching games, football games or a tennis game together with their friends, but they, you cannot always make it, make it to the court or make it to the same location. So you can still watch it. You feel that community, you feel that sense of understanding a game. You can chat about the game as you do, but you're not actually sitting together. And the third one is like, virtual video, like stadiums, the excitement of being in a stadium, that stadium that you want to be, but it feels like you're actually there, but actually you're on your own like comfortable sofa. So the proximity of this and the availability of all of this, um, I think is very, very interesting and important. So think about this uh, in a co-watching space, like I said before, like being actual in a rink or playing a video game together and playing another sports game or going to a sports game together, or actually participation, right? Um, not just with our headsets, but with any big VR headsets, you can do a lot of sports games. And that's actually, I think, after gaming or after gamification, sports is the second biggest industry that is creating, um, well, games and apps uh, onto these platforms, right? And we want people to be more active. I don't know if people have seen the McKinsey C report just before, together with the WSFGI, the amount of inactivity 
of people being not active is very, very high, and it's concerning. So if we can make this easier to be active by sort of playing games or staying indoors, why not?